Hello students, I am Dr. Shweta from Department of Community Medicine. Today we will see the types of epidemic. So the question, identify the type of epidemic where all the cases develop within one incubation period and epidemic rises and falls rapidly. These are the options. So the here the answer is B point source epidemic. So we will see each one of them. When we see how the epidemics are, how the we are distributing the diseases according to time. According to calendar time, if you go, there are short term fluctuations and long term. Long term are called as secular trend, secular trends, whereas short term are called as epidemics. Okay. In epidemic, if the uh, due to in uh, which usually occurs due to infectious agents and chemical toxins, it is either common vehicle or propagated epidemic. These two are the major uh, types. Whereas if we go according to not calendar time, they are the seasonal fluctuations as well as cyclic fluctuations. So first what is epidemic? It is uh, unusual occurrence in a community or region uh, of cases in excess of expected occurrence. This is very important. It is an unusual occurrence in excess of the expected occurrence. Mostly epidemic occurs because there is a shift in the existing balance between agent, host and environment. Okay. And also epidemiological studies play a very important role in the investigation of epidemic. And when we describe with respect to time, it is represented pictorially and it is called as epidemic curve. So, epidemic curve, it shows the magnitude and uh, it also gives important uh, uh, clues about the source of the disease as well as what are the minimum maximum uh, incubation period and also the shape provides us whether it is which type of epidemic that is whether it is a point epidemic or uh, propagated epidemic. The types of epidemic can be it is already as I described it is two types basically common vehicle epidemics and propagated epidemic. Common vehicle is which occurs where the infectious agent or a chemical toxin is present in a common vehicle like for example it is air, water etc. Okay. It can be three types that is single exposure, continued exposure and interrupted exposure. For single exposure it is at one point of time the vehicle is contaminated and everyone is affected. Uh, best examples are food poisoning outbreaks as well as Bhopal gas tragedy. Whereas if it is continued exposure, it is nothing but some, uh, for example, best example is the piped water supplies is contaminated because of uh, fecal contamination and continuously you will be getting one or the other cases till that uh, vehicle has been uh, cleaned. Interrupted exposure is where in between time the vehicle is introducing the uh, infectious agent. For example, one nurse is working in one of the shifts during the day and she is infecting people with pseudomonas aeruginosa during that period of time. So, we will see the epidemic curves for each of them. This is a epidemic curve of common vehicle point source epidemic, the one which was given in the question. Here, the curve is very sharp. Okay. It sharply rises and also falls rapidly and it always has a peak. Okay. So, this is the common vehicle point source epidemic. Next is common vehicle continued exposure epidemic where curve rises slowly and also falls gradually and peak is always not sharp. Okay, It is like plateau. And one more is interrupted exposure where the vehicle or the wave will be, there will be multiple waves, irregular waves. That is common vehicle interrupted exposure. Next is the propagated epidemic. First one we saw was common vehicle epidemic and now it is propagated epidemic where the source itself propagates or multiplies. Examples can be diphtheria, mumps, measles and many of the vector borne diseases including dengue. What happens here to the curve is it rises slowly in waves and reaches a plateau and then declines slowly. That is initially there are few cases then one by one they transmit if one case is there it he will give it to three persons, then those three persons will give it to nine other persons. So, slowly it rises and there is always a plateau and it declines. So, this type of curve is seen in propagated epidemic. Thank you.